hello how are you all i hope you all are fine and doing well my name is sayeda fatma rizvi and i bring for you people the very interesting and informative videos of physics in the previous videos we have discussed about the sound the characteristics of sound how the sound are produced the medium uh, which is required for the sound today we are going to study about the characteristics of the sound that the sound may vary as a person sound may vary okay so the characteristics include the loudness the pitch the intensity of the sound today we are going to discuss in details about the characteristics of the sound all right so please stay tuned and subscribe to my channel i'm your favorite physicist and youtuber and my name is fatma wasbi so let's start okay first of all we would study the first characteristic of the sound which is known as the loudness of the sound and the loudness of the sound depend upon the amplitude of the vibrating of body the loudness of the sound varies directly with the amplitude of the vibrating body now amplitude the people know about the amplitude amplitude is the distance from the mean position to the extreme position of the wave so the loudness of the sound varies with the amplitude of the vibrating body okay a uh, sound produced by the sitar will be loud if we plug its wire more violently like the sound we people have seen the sitar okay so the sound produced by the sitar will be loud if we plug its wire more violently if the if we plug its wire more violently the amplitude of the sound will be greater as the amplitude of the sound will be greater sound waves will be greater then the loudness of the sound is produced as a result the loud voice of the sitar is produced okay so the loudness of the sound depend upon what the amplitude of the vibrating body similarly we beat the drum forcefully the amplitude of its membrane increases as we hear the loud sound so if we beat the drum more forcefully the amplitude of its vibration increases as a result the loud sound is produced okay so we have discussed in uh, about the example of the sitar and we have discussed about the example of the drum because uh, as we uh, beat the drum forcefully or as we plug the wires of the sitar more violently the larger the amplitude of the vibrations are produced as, as a result the large greater sound would be heard the louder sound would be heard okay so it depend upon the particles uh, of the drum as well as the sitar they get into the active mode so the loudness is directly proportional to the amplitude of the vibrating body it means that if the amplitude of the vibrating body is greater the greater will be the loudness so loudness is directly proportional to amplitude of the vibrating body okay the next step over here is the area of the vibrating body the loudness of the sound also depend upon the area of the vibrating body all right so uh, the next phase over here is the loudness depend upon which factor the area of the vibrating body now let discuss about its examples sound produced by the large drum is smaller than uh, that by the small one because of the large vibrating area so uh, sound produced by a uh, large drum is larger as compared to that of the small one so corrected i have done the mistake over here sound produced by the large drum is much greater as that produced by the small one because of its large vibrating area as usual because the la because of the large area of the drum if the if someone beat the drum and it has the large area the particles of the uh, uh, drum is also large and the sound produced by such vibrating body is larger so because of the large vibrational area the uh, sound produced by the drum is larger then as compared to the small one small drum means that this uh, small drum has the small vibrating area so the loudness of the sound would be here uh, would be smaller as compared to the large drum so 
area plays a very vital role in the loudness of the sound. If we strike a tuning fork on the rubber pad, a feeble, a feeble sound is heard. Okay, but if the vibrating tuning fork is placed vertically on the surface of the bench, we would hear a louder sound. So here we have uh, taken a comparison of the rubber pad and the surface of the bench. The tuning fork is the device which is used in the schools. Alright, so if we strike the tuning fork on the rubber pad, a feeble sound is heard, a low sound is heard. But if we strike the tuning fork, vibrating tuning fork, vertically on the surface of the bench, we would hear the louder sound. So, because of the large surface area of the surface of the bench, we would hear the larger sound, louder sound because of the vibrating tuning fork. But if we uh, strike the tuning fork on the rubber pad, a feeble sound is heard. Loudness is directly proportional to the area of the vibrating body. So, greater the area of the vibrating body, larger will be the loudness of the sound. But if the uh, area of the vibrating body is smaller, then the loudness of the sound is smaller, is low. The third factor on which the loudness of the sound depends upon is the distance of the vibrating body. Loudness of the sound also depends on the distance of the vibrating body from the lit uh, listener. It is caused by the decrease in the amplitude due to the increased distance. So, it depends upon the amplitude of the sound. The larger will be the amplitude of the sound, uh, the greater will be the loudness of the sound. The force, the very force factor we have discussed upon. So, uh, we have seen that the greater the distance um, of the vibrating body from this, uh, from the person, a person would hear the less lesser sound. But if the the dis distance between the vibrating body and the listener is smaller the large sound is heard so the loudness of the sound depends on the distance from the vibrating body of the listener here we would take the example of the train we would take the example of the train for example a person is nearer to the uh, to is standing nearer to that of the train so he would hear the more clear and louder sound of the train and if a person is too much away from the train is too much away from the train then he would hear a low sound of the train so the loudness of the sound depend upon the distance of the vibrating body the lower the distance of the uh, vibrating body the greater the person would hear the sound of the vibrating body Loudness is inversely proportional uh, to distance of the vibrating body. Loudness also depends on the physical condition of the ears of the listener. A sound appears louder to a person with sensitive ear than the per man with the defective ears. So, um, it depends upon the quality of the ears of the listener as well. For example, a person of the older age would hear much and would hear much lower as compared to the person who is much younger he his active is much uh, his uh, ears are much active so he would hear the sound more actively as compared to the person who is a bit old is of bit older age so it depends upon the physical condition of the ear of the listener all right However, there is a characteristic of the sound which does not depend upon the sensitivity of the ear of the listener and is known as the intensity of sound. So, it depends on uh, intensity means that how much something is intense. So, there is a characteristic of the sound which does not depend upon the sensitivity of the ear and this is known as the intensity of the sound. So let's discuss about the pitch of the sound. What is the pitch of the sound? Pitch is the characteristic of the sound by which we can distinguish between the shrill and the grave sound. Okay, this is the characteristic of the sound by which we can dis distinguish with, uh, between shrill and grave. What is shrill? Shrill means the highest uh, amplitude of the uh, vibration of 
द हाइस्ट एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ द स्पीकिंग पावर ऑफ सम पर्सन एंड ग्रेव मीन द लोएस्ट पच एंड द लोएस्ट फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ द साउंड ऑफ अ पर्सन ओके सो सब लाइक दैट सो पिच इज द करेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ द साउंड बाई विच वी कैन डिस्ट्रेंशिएट बिटवीन द श्रिल एंड द ग्रेव साउंड फ्रिक्वेंसी द नंबर ऑफ वाइब्रेशन पर साइकिल ऑफ द वाइब्रेटिंग बॉडी द नंबर ऑफ वाइब्रेशन विच आर प्रोड्यूस पर साइकिल ऑफ इन वन सेकेंड इज नॉन एज फ्रिक्वेंसी सो लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द फ्रिक्वेंसी एंड द पेश पिच डिपेंड अपॉन द फ्रिक्वेंसी आ हायर पेश कैन मेक हायर फ्रिक्वेंसी एंड वाइस वर्सा फॉर एग्जाम्पल द फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ द वॉइस ऑफ द लेडीज एंड चिल्ड्रेन इज हायर दैन दैट ऑफ द मैन सो फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ वॉइस ऑफ द लेडीज आर मच हायर and the children are much higher than that of the man for example therefore voice of ladies and children is shrill and of high pitch so here we have discussed the example of the ladies and children because they have the highest voice and uh, higher pitch as compared to that of the men <laughs> so ladies and children have is <laughs> have higher pitch and uh, this higher pitch is known as the shrill all right and then that of the grave because men have low frequency uh, low frequency of the voice all right so ladies and children have higher frequency uh, of voice and that higher frequency of voice is known as shrill and of high pitch all right so today we have discussed about the characteristics of the sound in which we have discussed about the amplitude pitch and distance of uh, distance some stuff like that so i hope that you people enjoy my video like share and subscribe to my channel i will bring for you people in very interesting exciting videos of physics spread physics because this is um, you know the very interesting and entertaining subject stay tuned thank you so much allah hafiz